여 안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 음악이 뉴욕을 바꾸는 것 같습니다. I think the music is changing New York. 정말 아름다운 뉴욕이라는 마음이 듭니다. I really feel that such a beautiful New York. 어, 음악도 아름답지만 하나님 말씀도 정말 좋습니다. Oh, the music is beautiful, but the word of God is also very good. 예, 오늘은 히브리서 10장 있는 말씀입니다. Today we'll read from the words of Hebrews chapter 10. Please find Hebrews chapter 10. We'll read for Hebrews chapter 10, verse 10. From verses 10 through 18. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before... This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. 네, 감사합니다. Thank you. <웃음> 한 번은 제가 그 필리핀에 있는 남경현 선교사한테 전화를 한번 했습니다. Once I made a phone call to missionary Nam Gyeong Hyun in the Philippines. So I don't know exactly why I called him, but I needed to call him. But missionary Nam Gyeong Hyun didn't answer the phone, but his son, Hyung, answered the phone. Hey, Hyung, let me talk to your father. He says, oh, but my father is hospitalized. Why? My father has the dengue fever. dengue fever And so in the tropical regions, there is a dangerous disease called dengue fever. It causes very high fever. The death rate is like 90%. So which hospital? Philippine Medical Center. The Philippines Medical Center. And so I didn't know what to do. And I don't know the Philippines Medical Center phone number. And so, you know, I called the operator and told him to uh, connect me to the Philippines. And I asked him to connect me to the Philippine Medical Center and they connect me to the Philippines Medical Center. And I asked them to connect me to the emergency room. And so I asked, can I speak in the emergency room, the missionary Nam Gyeong Hyun from Korea? Soon after, missionary Nam Gyeong Hyun's wife answered the phone. 여보세요? And she said, hello. And when the missionary's wife heard my voice, all of a sudden she started crying. Oh, pastor, now what are we supposed to do? Now what do we do? And she began to cry. I told her, quiet down, stop crying. And so missionary Nam Gyeong Hyun returned from the jungles of preaching the gospel. But after one day, his face, his whole body started to turn very, very dark. And then the Philippines brothers said, Oh, Pastor, your skin is dark just like ours. No, oh, that's great. Now it's gonna, you're going to witness well. And that happens because of the dengue fever, it has made your blood black. And then they went to the, he went to the hospital. The hospital said there is no hope. It's too late. 
의사가 손에다가 고무줄을 이렇게 묶으니까 시커먼 물이 손에서 나오기 시작해. And then the doctor put a rubber band on his wrist and dark water began to come out. 남경이 선교사는 지금 추구하고 있어. And so Mr. Nam Kyung Hyun was dying right now. 그래 사모님이 지금까지 가만히 있다 내가 전화하니까 이제 목사님 우린 이제 어떻게 해야 돼요? 우린 어떻게 해야 돼요? 그런 말 계속 했어요. And so when I called the missionary, the wife answered the phone. She answered, Oh, Pastor, now what do we do? What do we do now? 사모님 마음에는 이미 남편의 죽음이 왔습니다. And so in the missionary's wife's heart, the husband's death had already come. 아무 방법과 길이 없었어요. And they had no way. There was nothing they can do. 여러분 우리는 성경에 보면 예수님이 길이라고 돼 있어요. Everyone in the Bible says that Jesus is the way. 예수님이 직접 말 내가 곧 길이요 진리요 생명이라고 말해. Jesus he directly said I am the way the truth the life. 내가 이야기해서 사모님 뭐 울지 말라고. And I told the missionary's wife to stop crying. 왜 우느냐고. Why are you crying? 정말 울 일이 생기면 좋겠느냐고. Do you really want something to cry about? I told her to stop crying. 남성교사 안 죽는다고 그랬어. I told the missionary Nam is not gonna die. 그러니까 약간 와서 저기 저 뭐야 대답을 했습니다. And then you know she was a little startled and then she answered. 누가 남경현 선교사를 필리핀에 보냈냐고. I asked her who sent missionary Nam Kyung Hyun to the Philippines. 박옥수 목사가 보냈냐고. Was it Pastor Oksu Park? 군유스 미션이 보냈느냐고. Was it the Good News Mission? 하나님이 보냈느냐고. Or was it God? 누가 보냈느냐고. Who sent him? 하나님이 보내셨죠. Oh God sent him here. 하나님 왜 보내셨느냐? Why did God send them? 복음 전하러 보내셨죠. God sent them to preach the gospel. 그러면 복음을 전해야지 왜 죽어? Then you should preach the gospel. Why would he die? 아직 필리핀에 복음 전할 일이 너무 많아. Still, there's so much work of preaching the gospel left in the Philippines. 죽지 않아요. He's not gonna die. 이제 제가 이야기를 했습니다. And then I said, 사모님이 저한테 그럴까요? And then the missionary's wife said, You think so? 그럴까 여러가 뭐야? What do you mean you think so? 이제 남경현 선교사 하나님께 맡기시는 그다 하기 전에 절대 죽고 싶어도 안 죽어. And so missionary Nam Kyung Hyun, until the work that God has trusted him is finished, even though he wants to die, he cannot die. 왜 사모는 하나님을 바라보지 않고 그래요? Missionary's wife, why don't you look up to God? 그 순간에 이 사모의 마음에 믿음이 생기. Right then, faith was formed in the missionary's wife's heart. 전화를 끊고 병원에 갔습니다. And then she hopped the phone and went to the hospital. 남편 침대 옆에 가서 앉았어. And she sat down at her husband's bedside. 그리고 이제 이야기하기를 박 목사님 이렇게 이야기하시더라고. And then she said, "This is what Pastor Park said." 그 이야기를 자세히 했어. And so she spoke that in detail. 그 이야기 딱 듣는 순간부터. And from the moment he heard it, 남경 선교사 열이 내리기 시작하는 거야. Missionary Nam Kyung Hyun's fever began to fall. 불과 열두 시간 되지 않는 열이 정상으로 돌아왔어. And within twelve hours, his temperature came back to normal. 그때 모두 다 죽는다고 했는데. Everybody said he was going to die. 정말 지금 아주 건강해서. And now he's very healthy. 작년에 필리핀 사람들께 만 팔천 명에게 이제. 삼일식 교육을 모금 복음 전을 그런 행사를 했다고. And last year, to eighteen thousand people in the Philippines, they had an event where he would preach the gospel to them for three days at a time. 전부 다 이제 학교 교사들, 교수들, 교장선 이런 분들에게만 필리핀 교육 센터 연결 받아서 마인드 교육을 해 복음을 전했다고. And so they were teachers and professors and school principals, and he was connected to them through the education center of the Philippines, and he did the mind lectures and preached the gospel. 최근에 군뉴스 미션을 통해 전 세계에 복음을 넣는 역사들이 굉장히 많이 일어나. Recently, through the Good News Mission, there's great works of the gospel arising all over the world. 내가 생각만 해도 감격스럽게 짝이 없는 거예요. When I think about it, it really overwhelms my heart. 여러분, 우리가 어제 저녁에 무슨 얘기냐면. Everyone, yesterday, what did we talked about? We talked about the redemption. 만일에 평민의 하나가 여호와의 금령 중 하나도 부지에 범하여 허물이 있었다가, if one of the common people sinned through ignorance and do it somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord and found guilty, 그 범한 죄의 깨우침을 받거든. And if the sin that he has committed comes to his knowledge, 그는 허물 없는 암염소를 끌고 와서, then he shall bring a kid of the goats, a female without blemish. 속죄제 이생의 머리에 안수하고, and lay his hand on the head of The sin offering. 재산 그 속죄제 시대 머리 안서 그 희생을 번제소에서 잡을 것이오. And then the priest shall slay the lamb thereof at the altar. 
제자여 그 피를 손가락으로 찍어 제단 불에 바르고 and the priest shall dip his finger in the blood and put it upon the horns of the altar 그리고 다음에 그 기름을 치하여 단위에 불살라 여호와께 향기롭게 할지 and will take the fat and burn it upon the altar which shall be a fragrance savored unto the lord 제자들이 그를 위하여 속지 않적 그가 사함을 얻으리라 and the priest shall make an atonement for him and it shall be forgiven him 이제 우리는 예수 그리스도의 피가 우리 죄를 사했다 그런 이야기를 하는 거죠 And so we say that the blood of Jesus Christ forgave our sins. 근데 여러분 오늘 이전 세계 어느 나라를 불문하고 하나님을 믿는 사람들 예수님의 피가 내죄 사했다는 사실을 모르는 사람 아무도 없어요. But today, no matter who you are in the whole world, everybody knows that the blood of Jesus washed our sins away. 어느 교회 가든 저는 십자가를 높이 다는. And so, as some churches, they have raised the cross on high. 그 십자가는 우리 죄를 예수 십자가 죽으신 그 죽음을 나타내는. And the cross signifies the death that Jesus died for us on the cross. 그래서 사람들에게 물어봐요. And so I ask people. 예수님 당신 죄를 씻지 않았느냐고. Didn't Jesus wash away your sins? He did. 제가 한 번은 대구에서 집회를 했는데. And one time I was having a conference in Daegu. 대구에 있는 뭐 일간지 신문사에서 기자가 종교 기자가 저를 찾아왔어요. And there was a religious reporter from the daily newspaper of Daegu, and he came to see me. 그분이 저한테 진지하게 물었어요. And he very sincerely asked me. 목사님 이 깊은 소식 선교하고 다른 교회하고 차이가 뭐냐고. So pastor, what is the difference between the the other churches and the Good News Mission? 그리고 그분에게 제가 뭐라고 대답할 수가 없었어요. 그분이 이야기하기를 나는 교회를 안 다니는 사람입니다. 그 차이를 내가 어떻게 단순하게 이야기할 수 있겠느냐. 그렇지만 내가 하라고 하면 내 나름대로 한번 이야기를 해보겠다. 예수님께서 십자가에 우리 죄를 못 받게 죽으신 것을 아느냐 I asked him, "Do you know that Jesus was crucified for our sins?" 그 이야기는 들었다고. He says, "I've heard of that." 그 기자한테 그 이야기를 했어. And so I told that reporter. 예수님 왜 십자에 못 박혀 죽은지 아느냐? Do you know why Jesus was crucified? 우리 죄를 대신 죽었다고 이야기를 들었다고. Yeah, I've heard that he died in the place of our sins. 정확하다고. I said exactly right. 근데 다른 차이가 뭐냐면. But the difference is. 우리 깊은 소위 선교회에서는 mission, 예수님의 십자에 못 박혀 죽으심으로만 우리 죄가 눈처럼 이게 씻어졌다고 이야기합니다. 다른 교회는 아직 죽었지만 예수 십자에 죽었지만 우리는 죄가 남아 있다고 해요. 그 차이가 있다고. Other churches say that even though Jesus died on the cross, our sins remain. That's the difference. 기자 깜짝 놀래. The reporter was shocked. 아 정말 기존 교회도 그렇게 얘기하느냐? Do the other churches really say that? 예수님 십자에 못 박혀 죽었는데 아직 죄가 있다고 그러느냐고. They say that we still have sin even though Jesus died on the cross. 가서 물어보라 그랬어. I said go and ask them. 아 정말 그러냐고. Do they really say that? 가서 물어보라고. Go ahead and ask them. 이해가 안 간다고. He says I don't understand. 예수님 우리 죄를 위해 죽었는데 죄가 남아 있다고 말이 되느냐고. And Jesus died for our sins, but our sins remain. Does that make any sense? 그날 그 기자는 저에 대해서 거의 신문 한 지면 밑에 광고면 나도 거의 대부분 하루에 제 기사를 썼어. And so that day that reporter wrote an article about me that pretty much took up a whole page of a newspaper. 그 이튿날 전화 왔는데. And the next day he got phone calls. 막 신문사 난리가 났다. He called me saying, you know, in the chaos broke out at the. 항의하고 화가 막 항의를 했다. At the newspaper station, people were calling and arguing. 이건 신문 기자의 고유 권한이라고. And I told him this is the authority of the news reporter. 나 분명히 방송사 직접 만나서. I met Pastor Park myself, and I wrote this according to that. I have recorded exactly what I talked to him with. 이제 사람들이 뭐라고 생각하냐면, and so what people think is, 예수님이 우리 죄를 위해 죽었다. 그거는 뭐 어느 교회나 똑같은. Jesus died for our sins. This is true of any church. 그런데 예수님이 우리 죄를 짊어지고 죽으셨는데. But Jesus, He carried our sins and He died on the cross. 죄를 안 사했냐? So did He not forgive our sins? 죄를 사했다고 이야기해요. He, they say He forgave our sins. 근데 왜 죄인이냐? Then if so, then why are you a sinner? 죄를 사해서 죄가 없어야 하지 않느냐? If He forgave our sins, we shouldn't have sins. 그분들은 뭐라고 하냐면? But what they say is, 죄를 사한 건 맞다. It's true, our sins are forgiven. 우리가 또 죄를 짓지 않느냐? But we sin again, don't we? 매일 죄를 짓는 어떻게 죄가 사해졌느냐? We sin every day. How could our sins be forgiven? 그러니까 우리가 죄인인 게 맞다. That's why it is right that we are sinners. 많은 기독교 교인들이 이렇게 이야기를 합니다. And so many Christians say this. And when we talk about it, 
예수 십자가에 못 박혀 죽은 거 믿느냐? Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross? 예, 그럼 다 믿어요. Oh yeah, we believe that. 우리도 믿어요. Yeah, we believe that too. 예수님이 우리 죄를 위해 죽었다는 건 그분들 우리 생각이 똑같아요. And so the fact that Jesus died for our sins, their thoughts, our thoughts are the same. 그 예수 십자가에 못 박혀 우리 죄를 사했느냐 못 사했냐? And so I asked them, Jesus died on the cross, and did he forgive our sins? 사했다 그래요. They say yes, he forgave our sins. 나도 사했어, 맞아. Yeah, I agree with that. That's right. 같아요. We are same. 그럼 예수 십자가 우리 죄를 사 우리가 죄가 있느냐 없느냐? And so Jesus died on the cross and forgave our sins. Then do we have sins or not? 다음에 이제 대답이 다른 것이. That's when the answer gets different. Good news mission 죄가 없다 그래. Good news mission says we have no sin. 그럼 내 죄가 있다 그래. They say we have sin. 죄가 있다 그래. They say we have sin. 예수님이 안 사했냐 물어봐요. I asked them, did Jesus not forgive our sins? Yeah, he forgave our sins. Then how could we have sins? They say we sin again though. That's why we have sins. Then when Jesus forgave your sins, he didn't forgive the ones you committed, then what did he forgive? Yeah, I believe he forgave my sins. But because I sinned, I, my sins are forgiven, but I sinned again. That's why it's right that I'm a sinner. And so I ask for this to be forgiven. That is what many people say. That is what many people say. 그 저는 오늘 아침에 그 부분을 여러분께 이야기를 하고 있습니다. And so that is what I want to talk to you about this morning. 우리 오늘 아침에 히브리 10장 10절에 있는 말씀을 읽었습니다. This morning we this morning we read the words of Hebrews chapter 10 verses 10 through 18. 근데 여러분 우리가 좀더 성경을 자세히 좀 찾아 이야기를 하죠. And so I want to search into the Bible a little more closely to talk about this. 여러분 성경을 다 가지고 계시죠? Everyone, you all have your Bibles, right? 자, 히브리 10장 10절 다 같이 한번 읽어. Let us read out loud Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10 together. 다 같이 읽겠습니다. We'll read it together. Begin. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. 자 여기서 말하기를 Here it tells us 이 뜻을 쫓아 예수된 몸을 단번에 드리심으로 우리가 거룩함을 얻었다고 돼 있습니다. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. 이 거룩함은 예수님 우리 죄를 십자에 못 받지 죄를 씻었기 때문에 거룩해집니다. This sanctification, this holiness is because Jesus was crucified on the cross and forgave our sins. 자 이제 근데 이걸 좀더 자세히 이해하려고 합니다. But for us to understand this in more detail, 히브리 구장 십일절에 있는 말씀을 읽어봐요. We have to read the words in Hebrews chapter nine, verse eleven. 구장 십일절 말다 같이 읽어보겠습니다. Let's read chapter nine, verse eleven out loud together. 그리스도께서 장래 좋은 일에 대제 사장으로 오사 손으로 짓지 않은 곳이 창조에 속하지 않은 그 온전한 장막으로 말미암아. But Christ, being come and high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. 자 여기 이제 성경 이야기하는 아주 중요한 내용이 하나 있습니다. Here there's something very important what the what the Bible is telling us. 구약 시대 때 이스라엘 백성들 가운데 죄를 지으면 in the Old Testament, if the children of Israel commit sin, the priest takes out, brings forth a lamb or a goat. And he takes the lamb or the goat and takes him to the place of the altar for the offering. What we have to precisely know about that altar is 하늘나라에 영원한 하늘나라에 성전이 있습니다. In heaven, in the eternal heaven, there is the temple. 우리가 이번에 그 이야기 계속했죠. And we've been continually talking about that. 모세가 BC 1491년에 Moses in BC 1491 이제 그 시내산 꼭대기에 올라갔습니다. He went to the top of Mount Sinai. 네 하나님께서 시내산 꼭대 하늘나라에 있는 성전을 자세히 보여줘. On top of Mount Sinai, God showed him exactly the temple that is in heaven. 하늘의 성전은 이것은 제단이다. Showed the temple and said, saying, "This is the this is the altar, this is the water pot, 떡상이다. This is the bread table, 이건 등대다. This is the lamp stand, 이건 향단이다. This is the altar of incense, 이건 법궤다. And this is the ark. 이제 그걸 자세히 하늘에 나라에 있는 성전을 보여줬어. And so in detail, God showed to Moses the temple in heaven. 이제 모세가 본그 하나님의 성전을 40일 동안을 봐서 하나 
하나 자세히 마음에 담았어. And so Moses observed the temple in heaven for 40 days and every little detail he kept into his heart. 그리고 이제 모세는 그 성전을 마음에 담고 And Moses held that temple in his heart. 손엔 두 개의 돌비석을 들고 And in his hands he was carrying the two tables of stone. 이제 신의 산에서 내려옵니다. And he was coming down from Mount Sinai. 신은 내려오니까 산 밑에 사람들은 금송아지를 만들어 and, 춤을 추었어. And when he came down at the bottom of the mountain people made the golden calf and they were dancing. 이제 모세가 가슴이 아팠습니다. It broke Moses' heart. 왜냐하면 성전이 이 땅에는 없었습니다. Because there was no temple on earth. 하늘나라에는 성전이 있었는데. There's a temple in heaven. 이 땅에 성전이 없었습니다. There's no temple on earth. 재단도 없고. No altar. 물두멍도 없고. No water pot. 그리고 법궤도 없고. No ark. 속죄소도 없었습니다. No mercy seat. 죄를 씻을 수가 없습니다. They could not wash their sins away. 그래서 우리가 3천 명이나 죽으면 다 했다고 이야기를 했습니다. And so we talked about how 3,000 were put to death. 그리고 그 다음에 이제 모세 백성들 and after that, Moses calls the people and he speaks to them. 자 우리가 죄를 속할 수 성소를 만들겠다. And so we will build the temple for us to forgive sins. 금이나 은이나 동이나 예물을 가져오라고. So bring me your silver, gold, bronze, and jewels. 많은 사람들이 예물을 가져왔다 쌓았습니다. And many people brought their jewels and stacked them up. 이제 그걸가 올리아가 보살이 시간 사람이 두 사람이. And with that, two people named Ohaliab and Bezalel. 모세의 지지받 하늘에 있는 모양 그대로 이 땅에다가. And they built the temple on earth exactly in the same image as the one in heaven under the guidance of Moses. 거기에다가 광야니까 이런 영구 건물을 못 지으니까 텐트로 마구레 상국말에는 그 성막이라고 이야기. And so they could not build a solid building because they're out in the wilderness. So they made it in the form of a tent. So it's called their tabernacle, which means holy tent. Yeah, 이제 그래 이제 성막을 만들었어. So they made the tabernacle. 이 성막은 하늘에 있는 것의 모형을 가지고 이 땅에 만들었어. And so the tabernacle was made in the image of the one in heaven, and then they made it on earth. 자 여러분 진짜 성전은 어디에 있습니까? So which is the real temple? 어디에 있죠? Where is the real temple? 예, 하늘나라에 있어. That's right, it's in heaven. 그런데 하늘나라에 있는 모형을 가지고 만든 이 성막은 어디에 있습니까? But the tabernacle which was made in the image of the temple, where is that at? 그건 이 땅에 있습니다. It is on earth. 자 이제 중요한 건 하늘 나라에 있는 성전하고 땅에 있는 두 개의 성전이 있는 거예요. And so the important thing is there is a temple that is in heaven, and then there is the tabernacle built on earth. 여러분 하늘 나라에 있는 것은 진짜고 온전한 것이고 큰 것입니다. The one in heaven, that's the real one. It is perfect. It is great. 내이 땅에 있는 건 하늘 나라에 있는 것의 모형으로 좀 적게 만들었어요. But the one on earth was made in the image of the one in heaven. It was made a little smaller. 그보다 더 중요한 것은. But more important than that. 하늘 나라에 있는 성전은 영원한 영원계의 성전이 있습니다. The temple that is in heaven, it is in the realm of eternity. 그런데 이 땅에 있는 성전은 성소는 시간계. But the tabernacle, the temple on earth, it's under the realm of time. 그렇기 때문에 이 땅에 있는 성소에서 우리가 양을 잡아 제사를 드리면. And that's why if we kill lambs and give offering on the tabernacle on earth, the temple on earth, time passes. But the time, the tabernacle in heaven, uh, the time does not flow there in eternity. On this earth, the time passes, so people get old and die and time flows. But in heaven, time never passes. And that's why it's eternal. 그렇기 때문에 여러분 이 땅의 것은 시간이 강물처럼 흘러가니까. And that's why the things of the earth, the time flows like the river. 죄를 씻어도 또 시간 지나가면 그 흘러가 버리기 때문에 다시 죄를 지면 다시 제사를 드려야 합니다. Even when they wash sins away, that just passes by again because of the time. So when they sin, they have to give another offering. 그래요 영원한 나라에는 시간이 흐르지 않습니다. But the eternal land, time does not flow. 혹시 여러분 혹시 여러분들 가운데 시계 다 차고 있죠 거의 대부분. In almost all of you are wearing watches, right? 시계 비싼 시계 얼마쯤 한 주면 삽니까 미국에서? So in America, how much do the expensive watches cost? 한만불 주면 삽니까? Can you buy one for like ten thousand dollars? 아주 좋은 거살수 있어요. Can you buy a very nice one? 아주 좋은 건 아마 그것도 비싼 시계 많은 건 말고. I know for the very nice ones are even more expensive than that. 그렇죠? Right? Yeah. 뭐 다이아몬드로 가야 막 장시간 시계. You know the watches that are decorated with diamonds. 아니 지구에 있는 모든 돌 중에 제일 탄탄한 게 다이아몬드라고. And they say the strongest rock in the world is diamond. 
다이아몬드는 그 시계를 만들어 시계가 막 뭡니까 보석이 딱 있어 가지고 딸칠 않는데 낡아지질 않는. And so uh, then the, when they make the watches with those kinds of jewels, you know those don't get old. 여러분 혹시 세상 떠는데 시계 풀어 놓고 가세요. And so when you pass away, leave your watches behind. 그 나라에는 다이아몬드 시계도 안 됩니다. Because in that land, even the diamond watch won't work. 여러분 몇천 년이 영원에는 한 점도 안 된다 그래요. And so in eternity, even thousands of years is not even a dot. 어떤 사람이 영원을 설명했습니다. And some people explained eternity. 어떻게 표현했냐면, and how did they change? 태평양 바다 한 가운데. Oh, in the how did they express it in the middle of the Pacific Ocean? 바위 섬이 있다고 합니다. There is a big rock island. 그런데 천 년에 한 번씩 물새 한 마리가 날라와 가지고. But once every thousand years, this bird flies over. 그 이제 바위 그 섬에다 이빨을 뿌리를 갈고 간다. And then brushes its beak on that rock and leaves. 천년에 한 번씩 와서 이빨 부리를 갈고 가는데. And so once every thousand years, the bird shows up, brushes its beak and leaves. 그 바위 섬이 이빨 부리로 갈아서 다 따라 없어질 때까지가 영원 한 점도 안 된다. And the time it takes for that rock to be all worn out and disappear by the bird brushing its beak, that amount of time is not even a little dot compared to eternity. 그기 때문에 여러분 영원한 세계는 시간이 흐르지 않습니다. And that's why in the world of eternity time does not pass. 몇 천만 년, 몇억 년도 점 하나에 불과합니다. Even thousands, even hundreds of millions of years is just a little dot. 이 세상은 시간이 흘러갑니다. But in this world the time passes. 양을 잡아 제사를 드렸는데. You killed the lamb and gave offering. 죄를 사했습니다. And you forgave sin. 죄가 사해졌습니다. Sin is forgiven. 그러 죄를 사한 그 능력은 이미 시간 따라 흘러가 버립니다. But the power to forgive that sin follows time and it passes away. 그 다시 죄를 지으면 And if you sin again, 지난번에 지은 그 죄로 이거 사하지면 이미 그죄 시간에 흘러갔으니까. And because that sin offering was already passed and that that sin is still there now. 그래서 이 땅에는 죄를 지어도 계속 제사를 드리지만. That's why on this earth, even though you sin, you have to keep giving the offerings. 하늘 나라에는 영원히 시간이 흐르지 않기 때문에. But in heaven, the time does not flow in eternity. 이제 죄를 한번 사하면. Once you get sins forgiven, 그때 지은 죄만 사 영원히 죄가 사해져. It's not only washed for that time; it's forgiven eternally. 자 이제 우리가 히브리 구장 십일 절을 읽었는데. Now we just read Hebrews chapter nine verse eleven. 여기서 말 그리스도께 장래 좋은 일에 대제사장 오사 이렇게 기록돼. Here says, but Christ being a high priest of good things to come. 그 다음에 뭐냐? 손으로 짓지 않은 곧 이창조 속하에 더 크고 온전한 장막으로 말미암아. And it says, and by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. 여러분 여기서 손으로 지은 성전이 있습니다. Everyone here is the tabernacle that is built with hands. 모세가 오리아과 부살리를 말미암아 지은 성전. The temple that Moses built with Oholiab and Bezalel. 여러분 그이 성전은 영원하지 않습니다. That temple is not eternal. 그때 그에서 죄를 하면 죄가 사해지지 말. And if you forgive sins, it washes your sins. But 그 당시에 죄만 사해지. It only washes your sins for that time. 그러나 여러분 하늘 나라 있는 성전은. But the temple which is in heaven. 영원한 성전이기 때문에. It's an eternal temple. 그에서 죄가 시들면 영원히 시들진다. If the sin is washed there, it's washed away forever. 그래 구약 시대는 이 땅에 있는 제단에다가 제사를 드렸기 때문에. In the Old Testament, they gave the offering on the temple that is on this earth. 죄가 사해지지 만 Yet forgive sins, but 지나가면 또 다시 죄를 지으면 또 다시 제사를 드려야 하고. When time passes again, they have to give another offering. 또 다시 제사를 드려야 하고. They have to give another offering. 그 일을 계속했어. And they have to repeat that again and again. 양을 잡아 제사 드는 그 제사가 소리 영원히 가지 않는다. And when they kill a lamb to give offering for sin, that effect does not last forever. 그 순간만 죄를 사하지. It washes sins for that moment. 영원히 가지 않습니다. It does not last forever. 예수님 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으셨어. Jesus was crucified on the cross. He shed his blood. 자 이제 예수님이 십자가에 피 흘려 죽으신 그 피를 흘리셨는데. So when Jesus died on the cross, he shed his blood. 예수님이 이 피를 들고 어느 제단에 갖다 뿌리하겠어. And so Jesus takes this blood, and on what should he sprinkle this blood? 예수님은 하나님의 제사장인데. Jesus, he is the priest of God. 양이나 염소 피가 아닌 예수님 당신의 피를 흘렸습니다. Not by the blood of lambs and goats, but he shed his own blood. 만일 예수님 그 피를 가지고 이 땅에 있는 제단에다 뿌렸다. If Jesus with that blood sprinkled it upon the altar on earth, 그때 죄를 씻었지만, then he washed away sins then. 앞으로는 죄를 씻지 못합니다. But he would not be able to wash the sins that come in the future. 왜냐하면 이 세상은 영원한 세상이 아닙니다. Why? Because this world is not eternal. 그 다시 죄를 지을 때 예수님 또 죽고 또 죽고 또 죽고 또 죽고. And when they sin again, they would when they commit sin again, they have to kill another lamb, die again, die again, die again. 예수님 온 세상 모든 죄를 사해 수천 번, 수만 번, 수억 번을 죽어도 우리가 다 깨끗해 못합니다. 
then for Jesus to wash away the sins of mankind like that, even though he would die millions, hundreds of millions of times, he could not wash away man's sins. So Jesus Jesus did not sprinkle his blood upon the altar on earth. But Jesus sprinkled his blood upon the altar in the eternal heaven. That's what Hebrews chapter 9 verse 11 is about. Let's read verse 11 out loud together again. Begin, but Christ being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. Yeah, 정말 손으로 만들지 않은 더 크고 온전한 장막 하늘나라 걸 이야기합니다. It's talking about the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, the one that is in heaven. 자 예수님께서 이 땅에서 제사를 드렸으면, if Jesus gave this offering on earth, 이 땅에 제사 제사를 드렸으면, it had he given the offering and on the temple in heaven on earth. 그런 구약성에서 제사장이 드린 제사처럼, like the offerings given by the priests in the Old Testament, 우리 죄를 사할 수 있습니다. Then he can forgive our sins. But he could not forgive our sins forever. To forgive our sins forever, we have to go to the eternal land and forgive our sins. And so Jesus did not give the offering at the temple made with hands. By the creator and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands. It is the eternal temple, the one that is in heaven. Now let us look at verse 12. We'll read out loud together. Begin. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. 자 여기서 이야기하기를 it says here, 12절에 in verse 12, 염소와 송아지의 피로 안 했다. Neither by the blood of goats and calves. 이 땅에서 제사 드릴 때는 when you give offering on this earth, 구약성의 제사장들 양이나 염소나 송아지 피로 했어. The priests of the Old Testament gave offerings using the blood of goats and calves or lambs. 그 예수님은 우리 죄를 사하실 때 당신이 친히 양이 되셔서. But when Jesus was forgiving our sins, He Himself became the lamb. 이 땅에는 양이나 염소나 송아지 피로 하지 아니하고. Not by the blood of goats and calves and lambs of the earth. 예수님 당신 자신의 피로. But Jesus, by His own blood. 하늘나라에 있는 제단에다가 피 영원한 제단의 피를. And sprinkled his blood into the eternal altar that is in heaven. 그것이 여러분 땅에 있는 제단하고 하늘나라 제단 차이가 뭐냐면. The difference between the altar on earth and the one in heaven. 땅에 있는 제단도 우리 죄를 사합니다. The altar on earth can forgive our sins. 그래 이 세상은 시간계니까. But this world belongs to time. 또 한정된 그때 죄만 사하지 앞으로 짓는 죄를 사할 수는 없어. It forgives your sins for that limited time, but it cannot continually forgive your sins. 그래 여러분 하늘나라 제단은 영원한 제단이니까. But the altar in heaven, it's an eternal altar. It not only forgives for that time, but continually on for eternity, it forgives your sins. So what does it say here in verse 12? 염소와 송아지 피. Having obtained eternal redemption for us. Most people do not know the scripture. And they don't know about the eternal redemption. They know that Jesus died for our sins. They know that Jesus was crucified for our sins. And that's when our sins were forgiven. But don't we still sin? That's why we're sinners. That's what they say. Those words are wrong. 구약 제사장이 제사 드릴 때는 이 땅에 있는 제단 제사를 드렸지만, when the, in the Old Testament, when the priests gave offerings, they gave it at the altar on this earth. 예수님 십자가의 피로가 이 땅에 있는 제단에다가 제사를 드린 게 아니고, but the blood of Jesus at the cross was not given to the altar on earth. 모세가 신의 산에 본 하늘나라에 있는 성전 거기 있는 
But at the altar that is in the temple, which is in heaven that Moses saw, that's where the blood of Jesus was sprinkled. So how is the altar on earth and the altar in heaven different? The one on earth belongs to time. It forgives sins for a limited time. But heaven is eternity, so it forgives those sins for all eternity. So verse 12 tells us, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once having obtained eternal redemption for us. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 24. Okay, we will read. Okay, we'll read, uh, repeat after me, word by word, okay? For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Here Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands which are the figures of the true. The priests of the Old Testament they gave offerings at the figures of the one in heaven unto the temples which were built on earth. That forgave our sins. But it's an altar on earth. It belongs to the realm of time. It cannot wash away forever only for that moment. The lamb that they offer cannot wash away your sins forever. Surely that sin is forgiven. But since the time has passed, once that time has passed, that lamb is no longer has the power to forgive your sin. Had Jesus given the offering on earth, then Jesus could not have perfectly washed away our sins. But verse 24 tells us that's why Jesus died and went to the tabernacle not on earth but the one in heaven. That's what verse 24 tells us. So do you understand Hebrews chapter 9 verse 24? Do you clearly understand it? So here we see and then it says, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Let us read verse 25. Nor yet that he should offer himself often, as the high priest entereth into the holy place every year with the blood of others. It says not like the not that he should offer himself often as the high priest enters into the holy place every year with the blood of others. Had Jesus given the offering on earth, what does he have to do? In verse 26. Then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world? But for Jesus, not, not to do that, appeared once at the end of the world and was crucified on the cross. And with that blood, at the eternal temple in heaven, he washed away our sins forever. There our sins were washed away forever. And so that's why when Jesus was crucified on the cross, He did not only wash away the sins of people of the time of Jesus 2,000 years ago. It has the eternal power in the blood. Even 100 years later, 1,000 years later, 2,000 years later, 3,000 years later, 10,000 years later, or 100 million years later. 
예수님의 피 속에 살아 있습니다. Still the power to redeem our sins is alive in the blood of Jesus. 그렇기 때문에 여러분 예수님 믿을 때 죄사함을 받았습니다. And that's why when you believe in Jesus, you receive the forgiveness of sins. 다음에 또 삶을 살다 죄를 짓죠. And then as you continue with your life, you commit sins. 예수님 그 죄까지도 깨끗하게 했다. Jesus even those sins he made clean. 그 영원히 죄를 씻단 이 사실을 기억해야 합니다. And you have to remember that he has eternally cleansed your sins. That's what you have to remember. 사람들 영원한 속죄를 잘 모르니까. But because people don't know about, about the eternal offering. Yeah, Jesus crucified for my sins. Yeah, he forgave my sins. But still, since I commit sins, isn't it right that I'm a sinner? And with that, many people call themselves sinners. But everyone, what the Bible is telling us, the offering that we gave on this earth, it forgave their sins at that time. But the offering that is given at the one in heaven, it forgives sins forever. Even 2,000 years from now, not he washed our sins forever. Not only that, but even tomorrow's sins. And it has forgiven your sins eternally. That is why we are holy. That is why we are righteous. That is why we don't have sin. But when you have the thoughts of the Old Testament, you can only say, yeah, even though I sin, yeah, I have to receive forgiveness of sins and I still have to ask for forgiveness. That's right. But the offering of Jesus, it was given in heaven, so therefore it eternally eternally forgive our sins he appeared at the end of the world to put away sin so now let us go back to Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10 by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all and so by the which will once and for all the body of Jesus was offered so through the blood of Jesus 2,000 years ago we have been sanctified now why? because all of our sins are forgiven but in verse 11 for us easy to understand it talks about the Old Testament 제사장마다 매일 서서 성김에 자주 갔던 제사들이래. 이제는 언제든 죄를 없게 하지 못하거든요. And every priest stands the daily ministering and offering the oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. 그럼 구약 시대 때 제사들이 드는 제사제 제사들은 그 제사는 The offerings that they gave in the Old Testament 영원한 하늘 아래 드리는 게 아니라 시간계는 이 땅에 드리기 때문에 It was not eternally given in heaven but it was given on earth in the realm of time. 죄를 사긴 사는데 So it does forgive sins but 그 당시에 죄만 사지 But forgive sins only for that time. 언제든지 죄가 사지진 않습니다. But but which can never take away sin. And so they have to kill a lamb every time they sin. But the blood of Jesus Christ, it was shed into the temple in heaven. It is eternal. It can take away sins forever. So no matter what sin it is, it is perfectly forgiven and washed away by the blood of Jesus eternally and made us perfect to stand before God. And verse 11 says, Every priest stands daily ministering and offering the oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But verse 12, let's look at. 오직 그리스도는 죄를 위한 영원한 제사들을 하는 우편에 but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. 자, 여러분, this is what's important. 여러분, 보면, Everyone, when we read the scriptures, in the realm of time, in the realm of time, our sin is only washed away for that time. But in the realm of eternity, our sins are washed away eternally. And so killing the lambs of the Old Testament, that only washed away your sins for that time. But it could not wash away the sins that you will commit. 
But Jesus, he is of eternity in the realm of eternity. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, because it's the one sacrifice for sins forever, it washed away our sins forever. And that's why even though I sin today, the blood of cross even forgave that, even forgave tomorrow's sins. That is why our sins are forgiven forever. But this is what people say. Oh, then I can sin how much ever I want. And I ask them. Then if you commit more sins, then, then you're going to go to hell then? After believing in Jesus, who does not sin? Even after believing in Jesus, everybody sins. You know, if you sin after you believe in Jesus, then everybody's going to go to hell. And that's why for God to save us, He had to save us perfectly. He fulfilled the eternal offering. Do you understand? And this, this is what most people don't know. Now, verse 13. From henceforth, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Here it's talking about the enemy of Jesus. Do you know who the enemy is? Although Jesus was crucified on the cross, my sins remain. My sins are not all washed away. I'm a sinner. Such people are the enemies of God who go face to face against God. It may seem that you are saying this out of unbelief, but you're being deceived by Satan. Jesus perfectly forgave our sins. But what do people say? Jesus washed my sins. But if we sin, we still have sin. And that is weakening the perfect salvation and forgiveness of Jesus. Therefore, that is equal to being an enemy of Jesus. And today, now let us read verse 14 out loud together. Begin. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. 자 이제 여기서 제가 한 제물로 거룩하게 된 자들을 제물 예수님의 십자가 죽은 그몸 하나로 영원히 우리를 온전케 했다. It says, for by one offering, by the offering of body of Jesus alone, we have been perfected forever. 아시겠습니까? Do you understand? 자 십사절 다 같이 한번 읽어보겠습니다. Verse 14, let us read out loud together. Begin, for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. 자, 그래서 이제 16절에 보면, 17절에 보면은. That's why in verse 17 it says, 저희 죄와 저희 불법은 내가 다시 기억지 아니하리라. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. 하나님 우리 죄를 기억지 않다. God says he remembers our sin no more. And what does it say in verse 18? Now where the remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. They gave the same offerings over and over again in the Old Testament. Now there is no need to give the offering. And everyone nowadays, we don't kill the lamb and give offering, right? Do you know why we don't give those offerings anymore? Because our sins are forgiven eternally. There's no need to give that offering, so we don't kill lamb anymore. You know, if they were not washed away forever, then we would have to give offerings. But through the eternal forgiveness at the altar in heaven, all the work of the offering is now all finished. In other words, there is nothing to be done for sin. If there is something to be done for sin, Jesus already finished it. So perfectly, so completely, 
he has forgiven our sins. 오늘 우리가 말씀드린 걸 정리하겠습니다. And so let us organize what we talked about today. 재단이 두 개가 있습니다. There are two altars. 하늘 아래 있고 이 땅에 있습니다. One in heaven, one on earth. 이 땅에 있는 건 하늘 아래의 모형입니다. The one in earth is the figure of the one in heaven. 정확하게 얘기하면 precisely put. 하늘 아래 어떻게 우리 죄를 사는지 설명해 주기 위해서 만들어진. It was made to explain to us how our sins become washed in heaven. 이 땅에 있는 재단도 죄를 사긴 했습니다. And the altar on earth did forgive sin. 그래 이건 시간계 있기 때문에. But it belongs to the realm of time. 언제든지 죄가 씻어지는 게 아니라. It does not wash away your sins forever. 한정된 시간 아니면 죄가 씻어. It only washes away your sins for a limited time. 그리고 죄를 지어 and then when you sin again, you give an offering on earth. It forgives your sins, but if you sin again, you become a sinner. The earlier offering cannot forgive the new sin that you committed. But that's not the case with the altar in heaven. The heaven itself is eternal. Everything there is eternal. Even the forgiveness of sin is eternal. If you die once, the blood of Jesus that was shed 2,000 years ago, when it gets sprinkled on the altar in heaven, not only for that time, a thousand years later, two thousand years later, five thousand years later, even ten thousand years later, it is still alive to forgive sins. It has perfectly, without blemish, completely cleansed us of our sins. And that is why everyone we say that we are righteous. That's why we say that we are holy. And that's why we say we have received eternal salvation. Satan deceives many people. And how does he deceive many people? That Jesus failed at the cross. Although he died, he could not wash away our sins perfectly. Our sins remain. They are belittling Jesus. That person is the enemy of Jesus. Everyone, that's not true. Jesus did not just wash a certain portion of your sins. All sins. Perfectly, he cleansed them. That's why without, without any remaining, he washed them all. It is that you have to believe that. Amen. Amen. That is what you have to believe. If Jesus did not wash away our sins forever, salvation is meaningless. Because no matter how much he died, if our sins remain, then what's the point of him dying? That's not what Jesus did. When he forgave our sins, eternally, perfectly he forgave them. So when you stand in front of God, he perfected you. And no matter how you see yourself to be, but the cross of Jesus, so that you will lack nothing, it has completely, perfectly made you clean and perfect. That's what the gospel is. That's what the gospel is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I praise the Lord. I thank the Lord who has forgiven our sins forever. But he has given us this gospel. And by faith he has us be freed from sin. I'm so thankful to that God. But sadly, so many people's eyes are blinded. That's why we're having this conference at the center of New York. So that the people may hear the word. And so that we give all our bodies to be gospel. So that we may give all of ourselves to live for the gospel. And we want to die for the gospel. I hope that you too will do that. Just as our Lord loved us. I hope that you too will love the Lord. And I hope that you will be children of God that God is pleased of. Let us pray. Our holy loving Father God, we thank you. 
When you forgive our sins, you forgive our sins forever. And you forgave us perfectly. And we thank you that you forgave us with not even a little tiny bit of pain. When we look at ourselves, we're weak and lacking in many ways. But the salvation of Jesus does not lack. The salvation of Jesus is not weak. It has saved us perfectly. We believe in this amazing fact. And we testify this amazing fact. Let us become precious children of God. Lord, please bless us. And let the gospel completely cover this world and spread to the people all over the world. We thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone.